Is this album the beginning of a new wave of punk? Stay tuned to hear my thoughts on this question and this album. Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it is Chili for a 5 minute review on Angel Dust's newest album, Brand, New Soul. You know, when I was searching for new music and came across the band Angel Dust, who I had never heard of before, I figured this has got to be some kind of heavy metal band by the name. Boy, was I mistaken, but I should have gathered that if they took their name from a Faith No More album of the same name. Angel Dust and their latest offering Brand New Soul is very different to their earlier works and see the band in the same style of another group that I thoroughly enjoyed from last year called The Garden. You see Brand New Soul is similar in vain to that synth punk sound found on horse shit on Route 66 with infectious grooves mixed in short songs of various eclecticisms and I feel that it's going to be the future of that new punk wave scene moving forward. And if this record has taken cues from The Garden then they have done it quite Quite right. The band aren't derivative of the garden, instead incorporating it to their sound, and it's super impressive to hear acoustic lo-fi surf rock and old school punk thrown into this effort too. The album is a collection of 13 songs that run just under 30 minutes in length and is a collection and is a collection of new misfit sounds that I can really get behind. Earlier music by the band was a more straightforward sound that was common of the punk rock scene, however, this record sees the group shift their style to incorporate a more modern sound and can be heard on tracks like Don't stop which is almost indie folk punk in sound or born to run with its soft guitar tone that sounds like dope lemon style race car which features lucy is a much more pop orientated tune if you are after the faster and more aggressive shorter songs then tracks such as space jam is a song for you and i can get behind this but maybe that's because it really taps into that old school punk sound that i love The same can be said about the track Very Aggressive or Sipping Lysol, which are both fantastic songs on their own right. Bit of a bonus one if you are watching this episode fresh from the interwebs as Aussie fans of the band Angel Dust will be gracing our shores next month in October and this gives you a chance to see them perform live. If you are watching this post concert then let me know below how it went. For me, this album almost epitomizes the effort by the group to toe the fine line while they keep one foot grounded in the old school sound while the other foot is firmly in the future of what will be and trying out new ideas, even if that may dissuade some older fans of the band. I think Angel Dust are onto something here with this record and maybe their next release will just show how far they are willing to take it. Overall, I will be giving this album a score of 8 million chilies on the spicy scale with my favorite tracks being Very Aggressive, Sipping Lysol and Space Jam. This album is is perhaps the perfect way to transition into a newer synth punk band as this effort contains elements of what is that sound without diving full on into the deep end. The same can be said about the other various newer genres like that folk punk or indie punk songs that I was mentioning and of course that are on here. Give this album a spin for yourself and make sure you come to your own conclusion. As always people make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to us if you can, share the video with all your friends and family and as always you have a great day and stay spicy. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Race. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listen Race, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.